my friends. I am Gal Zero with Gal Zero Fitness, and this is a short belly dance drill to teach you some basic figure eights. We're going to learn four different types, um, a couple for hips and a couple for chest. So this is for fairly beginner level belly dance. It is a little bit of a core workout, although we're working more on the dance technique than we are getting a really high intensity um, workout. So if you're looking to really just burn some energy and get stronger, maybe try like my power yoga workout, something more along those lines. But this is for aspiring dancers to just learn or perhaps review some basics. So let's start with some basic hip figure eights. And I am all sparkly today. Um, one, because it's fun. That's a big appeal of belly dance for me. My inner child gets to play dress up, but also too, because it helps to show the movement. So if I were all one color or dark colors, um, you wouldn't really see the hip movements as well, which is one reason belly dancers wear a lot of sparkle and bling and bright colors to accentuate those little movements. Because sometimes in belly dance, what you're doing is very subtle and so you frame it with your hands, you look at it, and you wear sparkly things to play and delight your audience be like, oh, look what I can do. Belly dance is very playful, which is one reason I love it. So let's start with some basic hip figure eights. We're going to be going in this plane first. But if you're brand new, let's start with some circles. Those are a little easier to grasp. Put your feet hip distance apart. Belly dance stance, unlike some types of dances where you're arching your back, we're actually going to do the opposite. So you want to tighten your lower abdominals and your buttocks a little bit to do a posterior pelvic tilt. So you should feel like your hips are right over your ankles, your shoulders are back, and you're just in that nice, solid, stable stance. So from here, Let's start with a circle. So we're just going to push the hips forward, to the side, to the back, and to the other side. So make this smooth. It doesn't have to be a huge circle. Your weight will shift over your feet a little bit, but mostly you're moving from your hips. Good. And of course, you can do a circle with your feet together. It will be a little bit smaller. Or you can do a big old circle with the feet further apart. Let's circle the other way. So circles are very common in dance. This in and of itself is a good, legit, basic belly dance move. And again, thanks to my white jingle skirt, you can see the movement better. Good. So, circles each direction. Now, a figure eight. We're basically doing a half circle on each side. So let's start with this hip. I usually mirror whoever I'm teaching. So this is my right, but it's your left. So I'm gonna say everything according to what it is for you. So your left hip, my friends, is going to go backwards to the side and to the front, and now that movement feeds into the other side. So your right hip goes to the back, the side, and the front. Left, back, side, front, right, back, side, front. If you're brand new, don't worry if you're really shifting your weight. You certainly can, that exaggerates the movement. And as you progress in your belly dance pursuit, then you are better able to make things happen from just your core. So here now I'm trying to isolate that movement. I'm really not shifting much weight over my feet. I'm trying to let this whole area be the only thing really moving, almost like you're wringing out a washcloth. But again, feel free just to have fun and play with it. There's nothing wrong with using the feet to dance. It's just, as you progress, it's good to drill sometimes, getting more nitpicky and isolating so that you get stronger in certain muscles, you have better control. Good. 
So figure eights that way now will reverse directions. So your left hip is now starting to the front, back, and then the right hip front and around to the back. So front to back. So backwards figure eights. Nice job. And again, feel free if you need to use weight shifting over your feet for now. I'm going to put on some music and we'll just drill this a little bit. It's always more fun with music. And for copyright stuff, I'm just pulling old um, orchestral, you know, classical Egyptian orchestra pieces. So nothing new, nothing money making. Just very traditional music. So we'll put on that. Give me one moment. So this is the Cairo Orchestra. This is older stuff, probably from the 60s, 70s. This is a traditional piece called Yagamil. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. So let's start with the forward figure eight. We'll start with your left hip, going back, side, front. Right hip, back, side, front. So just doing your figure eights. And you can speed it up, go in time with the music or keep it very slow. Play around with shifting your weights versus trying to isolate just your core. But whatever you do, make sure you're having fun. Belly dance has technique to it, but it's not, it's not as strict that you have to have your technique perfect. Belly dance is also very free, very playful. You're allowed to add your own style. So, one thing you never see is a belly dancer striving to get it perfect. The belly dancer is always just kind of relaxed and having fun. Even if you don't have a move down perfectly, own it. It's yours, you're doing it. Good. All right, let's go to the other direction in four, three, two, one. Backward circles, figure eights. Backward circle right, backward circle left. It's like two semicircles. You can play around with bringing your feet closer together. That will really isolate. It's gonna make you work your core a bit more exclusively. Good. And I've danced for several years, so my arms kind of do their own thing automatically. If you do want to play around with kind of using your arms, just try to keep them nice and light and airy. Belly dancers are not ninjas. Well, they might be, but when they're dancing, they're very relaxed. Very soft hands, like seaweed floating in the current. And if you don't know what to do with your arms and they're distracting you, you can always just put them in prayer posture in front of you. Good. So those are some forward and backward hip figure eights. I'm going to pause our lovely music and teach you some vertical figure eights for the hips. So this one, if you're new, you probably will lift your heels to make this happen. That's okay. That's not wrong. That is one technique. One thing I work on since I've danced quite a while and that you may want to start working on as you get better at this is keeping your heel down so that way your hip and your core do more work. But what we're going to do for now, don't worry about what the feet do, is lift your left hip, bring it out to the side, and then lower it. Then the other one, lift the right hip, bring it out to the side, and lower it down. So it's like you're coming up and over. Up and over, all the while keeping your trunk facing forwards. And I am using my heel because you can get a little more range that way and I want to show you, exaggerate the movement so you know what to do. So this is a vertical figure eight. I think these are also called mayas. This move is the maya. Belly dance has a lot of ubiquitous terms. You'll, if you go to a live class, which I would encourage you to do, there's nothing like a live 
belly dance class to really help you grow. But you may have one teacher call it one thing and then see someone online call it something else, but it's the same move and then go to another class and they call it something else. So don't worry too much about the terminology. So now, if you're feeling good with that, try to leave your heels down. So now you're really just having to tighten and stretch those obliques, which is why we can get away with calling this a workout. Good, nice job. So that is a vertical figure eight coming out and down, or up and over. Good. So now we will try the opposite direction. So with your left hip, this one's harder for beginners. It's easier to tighten muscles than it is to make them relax, but we're gonna try to push that hip down and then bring it out and up. And then the right hip down, out, and up. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. And again, feel free to use the whole leg. Lift your heels at first. There's nothing wrong with that. That is a style of dance. But then as you practice, get good at doing it both ways. So now if you leave your heels down, see if you can get almost as much movement by not lifting the heel. Keep your foot flat on the ground if you can. Good. So we'll put on the music again and we will drill these vertical figure eights. So we'll start with going up and over. Left hip first. Three, two, one. Up. Out and down, switch up, out and down, switch up, out and down, up, out and down, go at your own speed. Try to leave your heel down if you want a little extra challenge, but again, no problem if you want to lift your heel. And I encourage you when you can, not always, but dance in front of a mirror for a little bit so you get that feedback and be able to tell if you're doing what you think you're doing. But then it's also good to practice at times without a mirror, so that if you do go to class and you can prod a little bit, or if you're ever in a recital, or just dancing socially with a bunch of friends, that you don't have to see yourself in order to just make stuff up and have fun. Good. All right, we will switch directions. Four, three, two, one. So down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. Down, out, and up. And smooth it out. Nice job. This one's really pretty. Just for the sake of being, you know, professional and not giving in to any stereotypes, I tend to cover my torso when I'm doing these videos not to offend anyone with different levels of modesty, but when you see live performances or if you're practicing at home, it's good to expose the belly because you can see the muscles working. It's very pretty. It also gives you feedback so that you can tell, oh yeah, I see my abs are tightening or not so much. I'm using my legs and I need to isolate a little more. Good job. Excellent. Woo, very good. Shake it out and we'll move on. You've learned two different hip figure eights in two different directions. We've got these horizontal ones and the vertical ones. I'm going to teach you the same thing for the chest. Chest circles and chest figure eights can be more challenging. A lot of us tend to get really stiff throughout life in this upper thoracic spine from desk jobs and driving and computers. Um, so that can be a challenge, but this type of belly dance movement is great to try to loosen up. So again, we will start with some circles. And when we do chest movements, it is helpful to bring those arms out. That way you just kind of have more of a stable base. So we'll try circling the chest. So without over exaggerating, 
we're going to bring the chest out to the front just a little bit, around to the side, and then back to neutral. Front, side, neutral, side. So when you bring it back, you're not rounding your shoulders, so you're just coming back to neutral. So from the front, we're going forward, left, neutral, right. So try to isolate the chest. You can hear my jingles jingle a little bit. The hips aren't going to be perfectly still, but we're working to try on having the movement originate in the chest. Good, all right, let's circle the other way. So forward, right, neutral to the back, left. Forward, right, neutral, left. So just doing these chest circles. You can try lowering your arms. It's a little bit harder. It's actually easier with your arms out. Your shoulders shouldn't be the predominant mover. They're moving a little bit, but it's secondary to the chest. So you're not doing shoulder work primarily. They're along for the ride, but they're pretty stable. All right, my friends, so this is challenging. You may not feel like you're moving that far, and that's okay. The more you practice it, the more flexibility and range you will gain. So we'll start going forward, side, back, semicircles each side. So with your left chest, we're going to the front, side, back, and then the right, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back. Remember to keep your abdominals engaged. This is not as big a movement as the hips, and that's okay. So even if you're drawing a tiny figure eight, you just use whatever range is available and gently keep pushing and stretching. Good. And I'm moving a little bit through the low and mid back that's okay again belly dance is very free and fluid so it's there is a style the tribal style tends to be a little more rigid almost like the old like what is it 70s and 80s pop locking it's a little like that but your more classical styles are more airy so you're trying to isolate but it's okay to have your limbs and your hips just kind of organically moving along with you. Okay, let's go the other direction. So now left chest goes back on a diagonal, side, front, right chest, back, side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front. You'll probably have one direction. That feels easier, that is normal. This is my easier one for chest circles. Good. And again, if you're really struggling, just work on circles before you do figure eights. Because really, once you get better at circles, it gets easier because a figure eight is just two half circles put together. So I'm gonna teach you the last chest figure eight that we'll do and then we'll drill it with music. So this one is vertical again. It's a little easier to see from the front. So this time, we're going to lift the chest Let's do a circle first, go to the left, down to neutral, and again, you're not slumping, so it's just not lifted. Back to neutral and to the right. So up, left, down, which is only neutral, and right. Up, left, neutral, right. So a chest circle, circle, and again, you can see why you wanna wear some tassels or bling or sparklies or coins or bright colors so you can see what you're doing. Good, let's go the other direction. So up, right, neutral, left. Good work my friends. And again, if you are stiff in your upper back, this will help to mobilize you. Another big advantage of learning to belly dance, getting more flexible. All right, now we'll try figure eights. So let's start with the left chest going up, left, down. The right side goes up, side, down, up, side, down, up, 
side and down. And again, your downward is not slouching, it's just back to neutral. So this one you may not have that much range, and that's okay. It's a harder movement. Let's go the other way. So left chest goes down, around to the side and up, and then the other side down, side up. Good. Nice job. And again, my arms kind of have a mind of their own just because I've learned belly dance. I've taken classes for several years, and they're like, oh, we know how to accentuate that. But if you're really struggling with the arms, you can just put them here or on your hips. All right, I'll put on the music and we will finally drill those two varieties of chest figure eights. All right, my friends, so now we will drill those two types of chest circles. Let's start with the horizontal. The left chest will go backwards. So it's back, side, front, right goes back, side, front, back side, front, back, side, front, and then pick up the pace a little bit as you feel comfortable. It's often easier to go a little faster so that the movement flows together. Nice work. So this is a vertical, or sorry, a horizontal chest figure eight backwards. Well, actually frontwards. It's hard to tell. We're going back and then front, so I would call it frontwards. But again, you may take a live class or see a different instructor online. They call it something different. All right, let's switch directions. So now the left chest is going front, side, back, right chest, front, side, back, front, side, back, front, side, back, and go at whatever pace you feel comfortable. When we're drilling this in an improv or a dance performance, you wouldn't stand here and do the same thing for five minutes. But you want to practice it so that when you do it for four counts, it feels good and you have a lot of endurance. It doesn't tire you out. Good. Let's do it a couple more and then we'll take these vertically. So left chest will start going up, side, down, right chest up, side, down, up, side, down, up to the side, down, and again you're down, it's just back to neutral. Good job. You should be a little sore tomorrow, right through here and your upper back. Nice work. Alright, and then let's take it down, side, up. Down, side, up, and speed it up to tempo. Nice work. And again, if the arms are confusing, just leave them out of it for now. Woo, nice work. Let's do four, three, two, one. Let's review hips one more time. So, left hip, back to front, Four, three, two, one. Back, side, front, right hip back, side, front, speed it up. Very good. Sometimes it's fun when you're dancing to combine, so you would do some hip figure eights and then mirror it with the chest. Good. Let's take these in the other direction. So we'll go front, Side back, front, side back. Excellent. Nice job. Now we just have the vertical ones. Left hip goes up, out, down. Right hip up, out, down. See, if you want to, if you can leave your heels down. Good. You can make up some arms a little bit. Even when your arms aren't doing anything when you're dancing, they should just kind of be supportive of your big movement. So they're not just like, yeah, whatever, it's not my turn, I'm just waiting. They're kind of like, oh, look what the hip's doing, isn't that cool? I'm still part of this, even though I'm standing by. Good. All right, we'll reverse the direction. 
So now take that left hip side, up, down, side, up. And speed it up. Nice work, my friends. As you practice these, you will have learned some good basic dance vocab. So figure eights can be just kind of a nice centering move if you're doing some improv between bigger moves. Just kind of bringing it back in. It's nice to have variety when you dance. So a combination of little fine movements with the bigger stuff. Very good. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Thank you for joining me to learn these basic figure eights. Again, always start with circles, and as they get easier, the figure eights become easier as well. I am Galzira with Galzira Fitness. Thank you for joining me for this. Be well, my friends, and keep dancing. <laughs>